I have a very unusual social media strategy that allows me to publish content on social media consistently every single day like a clockwork. In this video, I will share how I create content on social media and to give you the idea, I publish two long videos on YouTube weekly, I post at least one YouTube short per day and this YouTube short gets republished on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn and TikTok. Also, my videos get released on my WordPress blog and get published on medium.com. My strategy was so effective that I managed to publish 181 videos in 100 days. If you can track the numbers, this strategy allows me to produce at least 365 short videos per year, so I can publish every single day. I achieved that by managing a very busy schedule while running a Facebook ads and YouTube ads agency. I'll give away my content marketing strategy in this video so you can achieve the same results. If you're serious about content creation on social media, this strategy is the one thing you need. My content creation strategy consists of four main rules. I'm pretty sure that rule number four will be a complete game changer for you because I'll share the one thing that allowed me to produce 181 videos in less than 100 days. It's what I call the content creation lever. The content creation lever is something that will allow you to create and publish videos with very little work if that makes sense. That's why I recommend you watch this video to the very end. I'll give you an overview of my content creation strategy and later on in this video I'll get into the details. I'll talk about rule number one, remove negative emotions from content creation. Rule number two, execute the year, not just the day. Rule number three, do it first thing in the morning. And rule number four, use the content creation lever. I'll start with rule number one. If you want to create content on social media consistently, remove any negative emotions from content creation. Most content creators become very successful after many years of publishing content. If you're just starting out, probably your first hundred pieces of content won't get any traction, but you cannot get emotional about it. You shouldn't let your emotions control your content creation process. You should be publishing content regardless of whether you're getting any views, getting any hate comments or believing your content is not good enough. Being emotional about content creation is a vicious cycle. You'll mess your mental health if you let negative emotions get into your head. If you allow this to happen, you'll quit after publishing two videos or writing two articles. Negative emotions will ruin your consistency. The most important thing is committing to content creation for at least three to five years. And if you say, oh, I'm bad at this, this is hard, or why this video got only 11 views, or oh, I suck, you'll quit. So give yourself at least three years of negative emotion free content creation. Don't judge your results. If you're just starting out, this will kill you. If you've been publishing content for at least a few years and you have some audience online, haters and hate comments, this might be causing some negativity. Still, I'm not at this stage, so I cannot really talk about it. Rule number two. To publish content on social media consistently, you need to execute the year, not just the day. What helped me the most to publish content consistently was planning my whole year. In 2020, I started my YouTube channel. My plan was to release one video per week. It was a reasonable goal and no matter what happened in my life, I always had a video published per week. I made a lot of videos in advance so I could reach my goal. I made videos in bulk and scheduled them for the future. That was essential for my consistency and not to miss my schedule. I plan the whole year and I make the content in bulk. Sometimes I have a full day when I work only on content creation. And this is what prevents me from burning out because I usually have my content scheduled in advance. And if I feel tired or overwhelmed, I'll just take a few days off. Now let's go to rule number three. If you're serious about content creation, do your content first thing in the morning. For me, it's hard to make content because I'm not a native English speaker. I live in Bulgaria and writing and speaking in English is hard. That's why I do it first thing in the morning when my brain is fresh before I consume any content 
or Instagram Reels. Even before I brush my teeth, I have this rule. I won't eat and I won't brush my teeth until I'm done with my content creation. The content that is the hardest to produce for me is writing. So yeah, I probably did most of the scripts before I ate or brushed my teeth with a nasty breath and a hungry stomach. I know it sounds disgusting, but I promise you, I brush my teeth right after I'm done with my writing and it works extremely good for me. I know many people would say I'm a night person, so if you wanna do that, try to do it at night, but my brain is quite exhausted after a full day of work on digital marketing, Facebook ads and YouTube ads. Now let's go to rule number four. If you're serious about content creation on social media, use the content creation lever. I know you might hate me for this, but you need to spend some money here. I think you should be the person who creates the content, but you can ask other people and buy tools to help you redistribute the content. You can hire a social media manager or a virtual assistant. You can go on Upwork. It's a platform that will help you hire a virtual assistant. Once the content is ready, would be his or her job to publish it across social media. That way you have more free time and somebody to help you out. This is not that expensive. You can get a social media manager for three to five hours per week for a hundred to $200 per month. You can find it even cheaper, but this is how my process works. I make my videos and upload them to YouTube. Then my social media manager grabs the links from YouTube and publishes them across social media platforms such as Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram and so on. It's quite an easy process for me and if you go to some of my social media profiles, you see that I publish videos weekly without missing a day or a week. Still, I have to say that I hired a social media manager for this job. If the social media manager is way too expensive for you, in that case, you can use a social media scheduling tool, which will help you publish across many platforms with just one click and you're gonna save a lot of time and money. I made a video about the best social media scheduling tool ever created, so make sure you go to my channel and search for it because I'm pretty sure that I'll forget to publish the link below. And this was the video for today. My name is Nico. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. In this channel, I talk about business and marketing. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.